I did learn some things from Spencer Torkelson in our conversation. Uh, what I already knew is when you're the number one overall pick in the draft, a 1-1, one, one, there is a lot of expectations placed on your shoulders, and you have a lot of expectations on yourself. What I learned was uh, it's not a straight line to success in Major League Baseball as in life. Spencer learned that the hard way this year, but he handled his struggles with a lot of poise, a lot of calm and patience, and a lot of understanding as we're here in the conversation we had just a day ago. It's difficult. It's not easy. Um, you definitely, at times, you want to, you know, go into the clubhouse and, you know, slam your helmet, slam your bat, all that, all those um, aggressive things. But you know, at, in, at the end of the day, just realizing that it's part of the process. Um, I am who I am. I don't suck. Um, it's it's just a learning process. And some some guys take off right away. Some guys have to fail. And it seems like my whole life I've always had an up and then I'd have some adversity and then I'd have to work my way through that and then I have an up and then there'd be some type of adversity. So um, kind of just realizing uh, it's part of it and it's not what you go through, it's how you go through it. I've had a lot of really cool people in my corner and, um, you know, that have my back and made sure I knew everything was okay. So, um, yeah. What did you learn about yourself and what did you learn about the game at this level through all you went through? Gosh, um... I learned that I'm a little tougher than I thought I thought I was, you know, because it's, cool it's not that's, easy. That's, yeah. that's good discovery. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's not easy going out there every single day, um, and whether you play well or not play well, you know, you got you got fans on you, and you got expectations that you feel, and uh, um, it's it's definitely not easy to go through that. And then, uh, I mean, everyone brings it every night. Um, there's no day off. You there, you can't take an at bat off. You can't take a a pitch off. You know. Um, there's a there's a guy on the mound that's a grown man trying to put food on his table as well. So, um, yeah, it just you got to bring it every single night, and that's that's what makes it so fun because it's so competitive, and it's just like this is the dream. You know, I'm playing a game, and it's it's really competitive at the same time. Where do you think you grew the most on the field as a player? Gosh, I think um, I think I just my baseball IQ even got a little better. Um, I think just playing 162 games or however many games I played or watched, you know, I've, I learned, I took something from every, from every single game, every single at bat, um, the way pitchers pitch against you situationally, um, even in the field, you know, just, uh, a lot of, a lot of learning experiences, a lot of lessons. And, um, that's just only going to make me better and stronger for the future. Spencer went on to tell me that after the season is over, he'll take a couple of weeks off, then jump back into his routine, getting his body ready for next season. But he also told me that he's going to buy a French poodle. He's got a, a French bulldog, rather. The name is Coco. So he'll be doing some doggy training in the off season. He said his family bought a dog during the pandemic, and it was the best thing ever. So he's got one of his own when he goes back home for the off season. He'll uh, be doing some training on the off season for his body, for his pooch, and certainly come back a whole new player in uh, season two as he moves on in his big league career, guys. Congrats to Spencer Torkelson as the family is growing uh, with the addition of the new puppy.